Welcome to the Lipis Report. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nick Lippis and with me is Jeff Cox from Avaya. How you doing Jeff? Hi Nick, how are you? Excellent, great, I'm very good. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Great, excellent. Well, we're at uh, ICSIA's ISOM City uh, and in this segment we're going to be talking about something very important. We're going to be demonstrating the active active features of Avaya's VSP 7000. So uh, Jeff, want to tell the audience a little bit about active active? Yeah, thanks Nick. Active active resiliency is something that Avaya has been doing for over a decade. In our architecture, servers are dual attached to logically integrated switches. We are utilizing distributed MLT or Avaya switch clustering capability to ensure no single point of failure at the access boundary. For this demonstration, we are actually going to pull one of the VSP 7000 fabric, fabric port and show that there is minimal traffic loss. Hi everyone, I'm Nick Lippis. I'm here with Jeff Cox. Say hello, Jeff. Hey Nick, how are you? I'm excellent, thanks. Uh, so now we're going to show you a little bit of the configuration uh, that we're doing, the testing on the 7000, uh, and also we want to show you the reliability of the product as well in terms of like how quick it is to reconfigure from uh, a link being disconnected. So first, Jeff, I want you to walk us through the configuration so we can share that with everyone. So, go ahead. Yeah, so here, here is a test bed we used for one of the uh, tests here at Ison City. Here we have six VSP 7000s, and for this particular test, we have four of the VSP 7000s that are used as the top of rack switch, and two of them are being used as the core switches, okay? So in this uh, scenario, four of the uh, VSP 7000s are the top of rack. So here you can see we have the 10 gig connections to the, the Ixier uh, test tool, okay? And then the top of rack switches are dual home to the uh, two switches in the core, two VSP 7000s in the core, and that is via the uh, the rear port, the high speed rear port, which we call our Fabric Connect port. So what I'd like to do in this uh, demonstration is demonstrate the active active resiliency of our SPD, our Fabric Connect technology. So the way it's going to work, we have 10 gig uh, test traffic being uh, pumped in from the Ixia into uh, one of the top of rack switches and then it's being uh, switched through the core. So what I'm going to do is fail one of the uh, core ports in the Ixia test tool here, monitoring station is going to uh, measure the failover time that it takes that traffic to fail over, okay? So I believe the test traffic is, uh, is running. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to fail one of the fabric ports and I'm going to do that by basically administratively shutting it down. Okay. okay. Great. And while Jeff is doing that right now, what I do want to do is show you is a logical configuration. So we have six 7000s and we have basically four of them are server facing into the exterior gear and we have two in the core. So we're going to shut down one of these links in the core of the network. And when we shut that down, we're going to measure how long it takes for this network to reconfigure itself. So what's the reconvergence time? Okay. Okay, great, Jeff. Let's take a look. Um, uh, on this screen here, uh, this is a, uh, a view into the Ixio gear, and we're gonna be looking at packet loss, and we're also gonna be looking at packet loss duration. So that will show us how long we've had any packet loss once a link goes down. This screen points over towards the 7,000, uh, so we are in the configuration mode so we can shut down links uh, administratively. Okay, so great. So now, Jeff, let's shut down one of the links and show what the packet loss is and the reconfiguration. All right, all right, great, Nick. Link is down. Okay, great. And so now we're looking at packet loss and we're going to look at the duration of packet loss and there it was. So we basically showed about between 0.6% uh, packet loss and from a um, millisecond point of view, between 200 and about 280 or so millisecond of loss. So that's how long it takes uh, for the network to reconfigure itself. Very quick, very uh, very swift amount of reconfiguration time, very small amount of packet loss. Jeff, anything else before we close? No, that's it, Nick. Great. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we just got back from the lab and uh, having end-to-end -end resiliency in the data center is critical. Uh, Avaya's VSP 7000 enables dual homing of servers into an Ethernet fabric, 
providing a solution that is resilient and also, very important, always on in the data center. So I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Jeff, thank you so much for coming into Ixie's ISM City. Thank you, Nick. It's great, a pleasure having you. Uh, and also, again, thank you all for watching. That concludes this edition of the Lippus Report. Thank you for joining us. Look for us every Tuesday and Thursday. To get your free subscription to the Lippus Report newsletter, go to www.lippus.com. To sponsor the Lippus Report podcast, send email to sales at lippus.com. We've got to go, and so do you.